What's up guys, RDQ and me, back again with another video. It's not Valentine's Day, but like the video, went out of Subway, but sub to the channel. Today I'm back again with another video. Got a topic to talk about too, because just like I said, we're going to play games, we're going to have topics too. So today I'm going to be playing this, this is the second world of the sand world, but we're going to be talking about Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, uh, the, the breakup that happened recently. Uh, by the time making this video, it happened a couple days ago. So I'm just going to be um, talking about the breakup and stuff like that. And um, let's get into it, man. Let's start this first level out. So going into Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Um, uh, how long did it last? I saw it lasted like eight, nine months. Which is um, short. That's a short relationship. Anything under a year, I'd say, is a short relationship. Um, anything... Yeah, anything under a year, cause, cause like, months, two months, three months, six months. You gotta understand that. Um. Oh, bro, I'm not trying to get hit. You gotta understand that. Um, depending on how much somebody sees somebody, um, you know, a month, two months, three months could be longer to certain people. Obviously, if you're seeing somebody once a month, you can't compare that to somebody who's seeing somebody, you know, ten times a month. That's just not equal. You know what I mean? But in terms of them, um, yeah, eight months, nine months, that's really short. They're celebrities, too, and Pete Davidson hasn't been working like that, so they were probably seeing a lot of each other in those eight, nine months, but it just uh, didn't last, you know? And it would have been okay. It wouldn't have been that crazy, but the reason why it's so crazy is because, obviously, it's Kim Kardashian. Obviously, she was with Kanye, so that's a big story in itself and all the drama that's been going on between all of them, so... The fact that um they're not together anymore, um, oh my gosh, bro, two times in a row I got hit, yo, that's crazy. Let me get this star. Oh my gosh, bro, I got smoked. <laughs> yo, <laughs> either way though, let's get into it. It's back into it. So dealing with Kim and Kanye, they were you know two of the biggest celebrities, so it was a big thing when they were together. When she broke up and got with um, Pete Davidson, a lot of people were looking at her crazy. They were like, why are you with him? Because obviously Pete Davidson and Kanye, I'm about to say they're not the same at all, but they kind of are. They both are pretty crazy, emotionally unstable people, I would say. They have a lot of issues and trauma that they have to deal with. Um, obviously, Kanye, ever since he lost his mom, he's he hasn't been himself. He's been a different version of himself that's a lot crazier, a lot more unpredictable is is a good way of saying it. But um, Pete Davidson, you know, he lost his dad at an early age. And that's not like trying to compare the two, but definitely there's trauma there. And they just have a lot of issues they're dealing with. And they're not really, the, they're not really emotionally stable people. So I feel like that might have been what drew her to Pete. The fact that there's a lot of similarities between, you know, him and... Kanye, but, you know, the relationship between them did not last at all, it was a very short relationship, and not very short, very short, I would say under six months, but eight, nine months, still very short, and it's definitely short based on the crazy stuff that has happened, you, well, on Pete's side, not on um, Kim's side, Kim's side, I think she was just having fun, she didn't really do anything crazy, the crazy person is in that situation is Pete, just because of the fact that he got a tattoo of Kim's name. He got initials tattooed of her kids, her and Kanye's kids, which is very weird. Like, why would you get initials of a girl who you are dating? And he got that after, what, I think, three months, they said, right? So getting initials tattooed after three months is like, come on. Like, who does that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who does that? Only somebody who's crazy does some shit like that. So it was just something where it was like, Damn, Pete, like, <laughs> you, you you down bad, Pete, to do something like that. But now it ended after eight, nine months. He was doing a lot, too. He was really, um, he's funny. So I definitely get that she liked the funny part of him. But he was, you know, going out with North and other kids. And, you know, um, really, I don't want to say being a stepfather, because that's not true. But I would say definitely having kind of like a, 
a male figure. That's that's what I'll say. Them having a consistent male figure outside of their father um, was Pete. And, you know, now that's gone. But eight, nine months, I, I definitely feel like he was getting too close to the kids. And eight, well, <laughs> he obviously did get too close. Getting tattoos of the kids' initials is crazy. Like, you should have never done that. And if you do do it, like, that takes a while. You don't just do that. You know what I mean? You don't do that in, like, months. Even years. Because they're not your kids. Like, if you're your kids, you can get initials of them, you know, as soon as they're born. And they're, it makes sense. They're your kids. But you are literally coming into, like, a stepfather role if you are going to come into that situation. So getting initials tattooed, that's years. You got to be years down the line and be, really feel like, I'm going to be with Kim for forever. You know what I mean? And Pete, mentally up there is a little, you know what I'm saying? You can't really, you don't really know what to expect from Pete, to be honest with you. Like Pete, you know what I think Pete, what Pete has? I think Pete has, should I say attachment issues? Or, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I would say attachment issues. I think he has issues with intimacy or like getting close to somebody too quick. That's what I feel like he has, you know, because I definitely feel like, yo, this issue seems to happen a lot for Pete Davidson, right? Like he was with a lot of celebrities. And I feel like the issue that always happens is that he does things too fast. You know what I mean? He rushes. Ah, oh, I jumped a little too far. But I think he rushes too fast to being the person to be like, Oh, I love you, this, that. Th oh my gosh, yo. Why'd it go that way? But yeah, I think he's the person who gets attached too quickly and stuff like that. Because I don't want to look back at all the relationships because I don't really know them, to be honest with you. But at least talking about Ariana Grande, right? He wasn't with her that long, right? He was with her for about a year. They already moved in together and he asked her to marry him. So for him to go from that, you know, to... What was the next relationship Kim Kardashian or one or two later? I'm not really sure. But a couple of relationships later, he's with Kim and three months in, he gets a tattoo of her name on him and the kids initials. So he definitely has attachment issues. He gets attached too quickly um, for sure. But it's something he has to work on. But I think that's, oh my gosh, I, I don't think I'm going to get that. Nah, I can't get it. Nah, I can't get it. I'm going to leave it. But yeah, I think that's something he has to work on. And I think that's the thing. Like, Kim probably liked the fact that he was funny. I think everyone likes the fact that Pete's funny. If they, if if you're a girl and, you know, there's a guy who has a sense of humor that you really enjoy, he always has a shot. Like, you, people really don't understand that. Like, if you're a dude with a sense of humor, you really always have a shot. Like, oh my gosh. Why did he have me get stuck like that? But yo, that's really facts. Like, if you're a dude with a sense of humor, you always have a chance. Because you're going to make them laugh. You're going to make them feel good about themselves. You're going to make them have a good time. And that very, really is important. So he has that. And then, you know, um, he has the tat. He has tattoos and stuff like that. A lot of people like people who are um, tatted, tatted up. So he has that going for him. But, you know, he, he dropped the ball with Kim. I think, I don't, but the thing is, I think it was bound to fail. Because like I said, um, Pete's pretty unstable and... He has issues getting attached to somebody too quickly. So I feel like in the beginning, Kim, I don't want to say that she liked or didn't like the fact that he was doing some of the things he was, but I think she didn't care because she was just having fun. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like going out with somebody and then they say they love you after the first date. Like, you're going to think that's weird. You're going to be like, why would you say that so early? Like, there has to be something weird about this person to say they love you after one, you know what I'm saying, one or a couple of dates. Because you shouldn't really. Unless you've known the person like crazy long, it would make sense you might feel that way. But in the beginning to be like, yo, I love you after, you know, only a little bit of time is like, come on, that's, that's type crazy. But I think that, um, let me see. Uh, let's go. Yeah, but I think Kim was just having fun. It was just something to do. She wanted to get over Kanye, and, you know, she was hearing things about Pete, so she wanted to try going out with him and stuff like that. 
And she probably did actually do, did like him in the beginning. It was a nice change of pace between Kanye and Pete that she liked. Um, he's a very funny person. He was always willing to really do anything. I feel like Pete was just an easy person to get along with, an easy person where if she asked him to do something or asked for help with something, I feel like he would just jump at the opportunity to, to do something for her, which, you know, is is great at, at a certain point. When you have somebody who's who will jump to do things for you, it's a great thing to have. But at the same time, sometimes it makes you take... It Sometimes it makes you take advantage of the person because of the fact that, you know, they're so willing to help you and be there for you. And I feel like that might have happened with Pete. You know, him getting so attached to the kids and doing so much for them at an early age, to me, was like, why? I'm sorry. Like, if I have kids and I was a single father, like, I don't want the girl who I'm seeing to be so attached to my kids in, you know, a month. Like, I don't want a month, two months to pass by and the, the girl who I'm with has been taking care of my kids see well not taking care of but you know doing things with my kids like 10 times and i feel like that's kind of what happened with pete i feel like he got i feel like kim was letting him get too attached to the the children at an early stage and i don't think that should have happened so it was a little bit on her side i feel like that she messed up a little bit it was kind of misjudgment um which, you know, can happen to anybody. Anybody can have a lapse of judgment, not really make the right call. I think that's what happened with her. So I think she realized that she low-key made a mistake. And, you know, when it started to reach that six-month mark, I feel like every <laughs> I feel like every um time after that six month was was like low-key. She was getting to the point where she's like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to be with him. Because I feel like she was like, oh, he's... He, I feel like when the um, puppy love or like the new something different wore off, she was like, oh, okay. Like, I don't really need to be with him anymore. Like, I kind of got what I had to get from him. Made me move on from Kanye, which is good. You know, breaking up from Kanye to be with him for, you know, like eight months, nine months. It's a good rebound. It's a good um, period for her to get. For her to, what, what, how do I want to say it? For her to heal properly. For her to get over that relationship and just, you know, in general, just go back to herself. I feel like that was a good period for that. He did a good job of that, helping her get over that. And now I think the next relationship should probably be better off, you know, now because of that happening. But, oh, damn. I don't need to beat this level. I was low-key close to it, too. But, yeah. Um... I think Kim will probably jump into another relationship or two just like to have fun. I feel like she's going to have two or three more relationships like that. Just like fun having ones where they're not going to last long. They're going to be less than a year once again. Just because you, when you've been married 10, 15 years, like, <laughs> and you finally are, you know, single again, you, you're you going to have a long period of, you know, um, really not wanting to be in that situation again for a little bit. She's finally having fun again. I think she's going to have two or three other small relationships with other people. And then after that, she'll probably try to have something serious again. That's kind of the way I see it. Um, I don't know how y'all feel about it. But I think two or three more small ones she'll have. Then after she'll probably get back on track, kind of have that feeling of, okay, let me actually get serious again but pete i feel like pete has to do better um I, in fact like i don't think it was kim's fault obviously it's not kim's fault that she was with pete i think it's pete's fault oh my, how was i supposed to hmm oh i should have jumped the shot at the top but yeah i think um i don't think it's pete's fault i think pete has to get help because the, the attachment issue is getting attached too quickly. I think he has to work on that. You know, I think Kim is good. Kim's just on, you know what I'm saying? She's just going okay. She's having her hot girl summer, you know? she She's single now. She got she just wanted to test the waters. So I, I completely understand that. I, like I said, she's going to have two, more, two or three more of that. And I hope Pete is able to work on his issues with getting attached so quickly. 
to people. But who knows, man? He he's been through a lot. When you when your parents pass away at a young age, that's not something that you can just deal with. Like that's a serious issue. You know what I mean? So him having to do that, I feel like it ruined all of his relationships. I feel like all of them it made him, you know, he's just he's not a normal person when it comes to relationships. Not having a parent, having a parent die early, like you're gonna have attachment issues, and I feel like because of he lost his father so early, that's why he does the things that he does, like getting attached to someone super early because his dad died super early, so he's you know he's not gonna wait to tell somebody he loves them when his dad died super early, like he couldn't tell his dad he loved him enough times and stuff like that. I feel like it's connected to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying I'm not no therapist or nothing, but you know what I mean, I feel like feel like I might be a little bit, you know what I mean? I feel, I feel like I might know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think it's attached to that. And it's something that he needs to work on. But yo, in terms of getting the girls, like getting his foot in the door. Yo, Pete be getting bad females, yo. He be getting a lot of bad females. <laughs> I don't know what he be doing, man. I know he's funny as hell, but I don't know what else he be doing. He just be doing a good job, man. Respect to him, because he really be going crazy. <laughs> he really be going crazy. It is so funny, bro. This is another level. Should I do this last level? I'll do one more level. I talked about what I wanted to talk about. Talked about that little situation. Um, I guess, yeah, the only thing I would say is when it comes to Kim and Pete, do I want to say who's going to rebound first? Um, No, that's not what I want to say. Oh, how do I get out of here? I don't remember how to get out of here. Oh, I don't remember how to get out of here. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to jump through it. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, damn. I forgot that it does some stuff like that. I guess I'd say who's going to rebound first. I guess that's the question I want to say. Who do you think is going to rebound first between Kim and Pete? And I don't mean rebound is, you know, just like first person to sleep with somebody. I mean, like, you know how it was all over the, you know, what I mean, all over the tabloids and news and stuff. How, you know, Kim was with Pete. I mean, like that type of um, who do you think is going to have the first other partner who's like in the news, like popular wise? Like, I don't mean like if Pete goes and, and goes out with a girl tonight who's a, like not a celebrity and we don't hear about I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, the next... Who do you think is going to rebound, like, with the next celebrity? Because they're both probably going to date celebrities again, to be honest. Who do you think is going to rebound first? I would say Pete. I think Pete's going to jump into another relationship first. That's what I would say, personally. But who knows? Maybe it'll be Kim. She'll do another short relationship again and get one first. Who knows? Uh, beat this level, though, and... This is the last level I'm going to do. So, yeah, just any comments about Pete and Kim, I want to know what y'all think, to be honest. Because it I honestly be cool to hear about. want to know what y'all think about the situation. But y'all can see I did three, four levels. Um, we're halfway done with this world. I'm going to save here. But, yeah, we're going to continue it up here. We're just going to finish the world two in the next video. So, any comments about that? I want to hear about it. Other than that, like, subscribe, share the video. Other than that, it's been already Q and me. You already know. Socials down below, and I'll catch y'all.